And welcome to the Stroll to the Sea. This is our favorite day of the year. It's when hundreds of people turn out and um, we start here at Mulford Farms and we walk down to Main Beach. It's fantastic to see all the people come and we get to see a lot of the ARF dogs who've been adopted and see them now with their families. It's just such a day of joy and love. And I encourage everybody to go to arfhamptons.org and learn more. Welcome to the Walk to the Sea. Are you registered yet? Yes? Okay, so uh, you can go over there and pick up your package. Have a good time. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> Happy dog anyway, walking. I am good. Anybody need help? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Is your dog registered yet? If your dog is registered, I'd be happy to check you in. And once we check you in, what size shirt do you want? And we'll give you a bag. And then also we'd like to know, did you adopt your dog from Art? If you did, you get one late for the dogs that are adopted from ARF, and if not adopted from ARF, that's okay, and we have another tag. And then you take your free little bracelet, and then you're off to walk around and check out all the treats, and the food, and talk with all the other people, and the dogs for them to be. It's a great way to congregate. So you're, you still can register, you have the re registration line over there. We'd love to have you. It's a great day. It's beautiful for our stroll to the sea at our No, that's a different. Yeah, that's a different. So there's two. Yeah. 
for turning out today. Um, I really want to acknowledge the work of the Stroll to the Sea Committee. Uh, these guys have been working on it since last spring. And there are two people in particular, Jamie Berger and Tess Pinchick, who have been working around the clock for the last two weeks to make today happen. So thank you for being here. It makes a huge difference to have all of you supporters here. I will tell you, you know our, in our adoptions, but some of the other work we do include hurricane response. Just last night, a truck with hundreds of pounds of cat and dog food left our and headed for Western North Carolina. So it's going to the food pantries. So those on the ground who need food, you made that happen by being here today. So thank you. The other thing is our transport team has been on call all week. When we get the call, we will be heading down there to pick up dogs and move them out of the shelters so that they can open up space so they could reunite lost dogs with their owners. So that's another thing that ARF does. We know how to do the work of rescue. We have the medical to help these dogs when they arrive. We have incredible trainers to work with behavioral issues like PTSD from these dogs that are facing a hurricane. We also have an incredible core of volunteers like, that have been working this whole group that makes such a difference. What we really need are resources. So again, thank you for being here and for supporting ARF. And I'm going to ask you again if you could speak to your family, your friends, your co workers, please tell them about our. Please encourage them to support us because every dollar can literally save the life of a dog or a cat. So thank you again for being here. And I'm, are, are we ready at the front? Yeah. We're going to go up a little early. I want to introduce Mayo Pozdek, who's going to cut the ribbon this year. He is the one who was our biggest fundraiser last year, uh, so he got the honor of cutting the ribbon. So. The first ones. <laughs> 